Remember the first time you met Jerome? Tyson was here. Yeah, you didn't get your hair cut then, but you were pretty impressed afterwards, yeah? That was the plug. So we could start at the front because that's where everything starts. My name is Derek Seeley. By day, I'm a lagerist. And at night, I'm cutting the hairs of some of the most famous footballers in the world. It's my life, man. It's my passion. <laughs> I met Jerome through a very solid friend of mine called Ricky Rolex. Jerome had just arrived in Munich. I think he was having trouble finding somewhere where he can get his hair done. And we met one day at Rick's place. Jerome took it from there, man. Told his brother and told his friend, and one thing led to the next. Hey, What's going on? What's happening? Yeah, I'm cool. What's up, T? Long time no see, yeah? Huh? It was a mutual friend from mine, a guy that when I was in the music business, his name is DJ Ramon. And he's from Munich also, and he always been like, Rick, I want you to meet the players. He's right, really like this with those guys, like Jerome, Frank, and David. And then we just became friends in that nature. Last night, Alaba texted me, sent me a photo. The dude just had chaos on his head, man. He wanted to make it curly, but you know he got that soft hair, right? So they put this chemical in there and totally just destroyed it, man. The Don King of Bayern Munich. So yeah, I went up there at the hotel yesterday. I hooked him up. Hooked him up. So it was him and then uh, Jerome. This is my magic box with some of the stuff that I use. First time you cut Jerome hair, you didn't have this. The level of them went up a little more. Cause now look Absolutely, at this, look bro. all organized. It's like a lot of money you've been making. <laughs> Tyson, you ready? Yeah. yeah? All right, bro. Jerome Boateng has a really good style, and also Alaba. They always have different hairstyles, and I think that makes them like kind of unique, and yeah, they're an inspiration. The first time I met Jerome, after I finished cutting his hair, I said, you're gonna be taking me out there with the haircut, the style, you know? That, that's, my, that's me here. The European Championship, when they were in France, I went over there. That was an awesome experience, you know, because I walked into a hotel, this, this little guy from Trinidad and Tobago, you know? Walking into this place and everybody was there, you know, I would never forget that. So when they're out there, you know, getting their achievements, playing football, I'm also out there, man, you know, because this is my art. I'm proud of that. I'm proud to be a part of it. Just one more little thing, thing. I'm good. My inspiration would ultimately be to have my own shop. When I have all the equipment around me, my zone, these hands work magic, man. So fresh and so clean, clean. <laughs> my man. Where should I put this? Mine. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.